Hello, you are welcome how to solve this problem 3 raised to power x squared divided by 9 raised to power x equals to 81. From here, we can write this again in this 3 and we have 3 raised to power x squared then divided by 3 raised to power 2 then raised to power x which is equal to on this side we have 3 raised to power 4 to be the same thing as 81 and in the next step we can also write this as 3 raised to power x squared divided by here. This power multiplies and we have 3 raised to power 2x equals to 3 raised to power 4. And uh, applying the law of indices from here, when we have number of same base, we have a raised to power m divided by b divided by a raised to power m rather. This will give us a raised to power m minus 1 minus n so from here when we apply this law here then from here we can subtract what we have and this will be 3 raised to power x square minus 2x now equals to 3 raised to power 4 and from here we have the same base the base are equal then we equate the power so this will be x square minus 2x equals to 4 and by the time we take 4 to this side so we have x square minus 2x minus 4 now equals to 0 then we can solve this using the quadratic formula here a is 1 b is minus 2 and c here is minus 4 using the correct formula x will now be equals to minus b that's minus minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square minus 2 square then minus 4 a is 1 then c minus 4 then all over 2 a 2 times 1 and from here x then equals to we have minus times minus here that's plus so we have 2 here now, plus or minus square root of, we have two, minus 2 squared, that's 4, then minus times minus, plus, 4 times 4, we have 16, divided by 2. Then from here, we have 4 plus 16, that's 20, you have root, we have with 20 there, so x equals to 2, plus or minus square root of 20, divided by 2, and square root of 20, we can separate that as square root of 4 times 5 and square root of 4 is 2 so we have 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 here then divide by 2 and when we divide this by 2 this will reduce to x equals to because 2 we go here that's 1 so we have 1 plus or minus then 2 we cancel 2 here as well, root 5. So we have the value of x as x equals to 1 plus or minus root 5. It implies that we have two values of x here. We have the fourth value of x to be x1 equals to 1 plus root 5 and x2 equals to 1 minus root 5. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So as not to miss out, see you in the next class and bye for now.